Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Arrested Development Season 1, Episode number 11. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Some people said I said it too fast. Now I hope this is the right speed. Who Let's said, get to the show. Who said it was too fast? <laughs> Hey, people be talking. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple of comments to feature from episode 10, starting with DaleGuy03, who says, This, to me, is an almost flawless episode. If someone asked me for one episode to show why they should watch Arrested Development, this would be the episode I'd name. Everything comes together perfectly and hilariously, and even if you think you know how the show works, um, predictably. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. This is a genius level comedy, writing, and construction. The business with school grades at the start seems like a throwaway joke, but it leads to maybe working with her grandmother, and it provides a reason for Michael to think his son is on drugs. The history of the family learning lessons become because of the one our man develops beautifully. Buster's wish to find marijuana for Lucille too threads Threads generates the story, and once again, we can see that Michael, despite good intentions, is an inattentive parent when he takes his son's confession of his crush on his cousin as a big joke. A non-stop classic lines, and non-stop classic lines, uh, I can't help you, Mom. I've got a job. I've got to make some money so you can buy more things and destroy the evidence. <laughs> Oh, Lindsay thinks I'm too critical. That's another fault of hers. And Joe <laughs> shouting to the to stop the drug bus. These aren't real cops. These are just strippers. Look how hot they yeah, are. Hot they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe seventy seven. Tiny details. J. Walter Weatherman has a three legged dog. J. Walter Weatherman. Uh, I'm not sure. That went over okay. my head. Uh, Ted Kelly, it's a really close race near the top, but this is possibly my favorite episode of the series. Definitely oh, yeah. in the top five. The writing is just so tight and purposeful, and everyone, minus Tobias, gets at least one great moment. There honestly might only be one throwaway line in the whole episode, but it's one that still makes me laugh anyway. Maybe he meant the other George Michael. You know the senior songwriter? Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that, that one sense. made me laugh too, even yeah. though like it's such an easy go-to, yeah. but like it cracked me up as well. That's that baby. Um, Executive producer Lissit says, This episode was the ultimate guide for good and bad parenting and how George Sr. decided to teach lessons to his children by scarring them for life with very violent scenarios from a very young age was diabolical and on top of that, Lucille is there to criticize and emotionally manipulate her children. <laughs> Even Crazy. to this current day, was absolutely shocking to witness. But I'm glad to see that in the episode, both Michael and Lindsay actually learned something from their parents' mistakes and hopefully be vigilant so they don't repeat the same mistakes. Can't wait for the next one. Nah. Now they hired the dude too. They're like, yeah. let's try this as well. Nah. <laughs> Uh, or they attempted to. Yeah. Uh, Rena comes through to say this episode has always been one of my most of the most memorable Arrested Development episodes for me. I just love absolutely everything about it. So many great jokes packed in 20 minutes. And also, I don't know if this was just me, but the first time I watched the Conspiracy Theories episode of Community, I seriously cannot stop thinking about the plot twist drug dealing scene from this episode. I just love the clever writing and how they always manage to make everything come full cir circle. Mm -hmm. And Lucille is the worst, but actually the best. Her delivery on all those birds were gold. Oh, Hell like, yeah. Like oh, you guys said, she truly does spit fire. Excellent yeah. reaction and discussion. Glad you guys love this yeah. one. No, she, uh, she's got bars. Oh yeah. Um, and the last comment is from Jess as <coughs> who just says, I was so excited for you all to watch this one. It's hilarious. Yeah. Alright guys, thanks as always for coming and dropping uh, those dimes. Let's get to episode 11 right now. Michael Bluth was taking his son to an interview at the prestigious Milford School, an institution once famous for its credo that children should be neither seen nor heard. But Dad, you know, I might not get in either, and that wouldn't be the end of the way. I'm not even going down that road, okay? The next four years are all about your future, and that's the most important thing to me, okay? And things have changed around here. We have talking sessions throughout the day. We even have a talking room where students are encouraged to go in and talk to their heart's content. Sounds like fun. First thing he said all day. The point is... <laughs> <I'm not> <laughs> kids are neither seen or heard, babe. Yeah, I don't think it's best. But I'm from school, too. Distance itself from the Booth name. It's, it's nothing personal. Are you talking about the fact that my father is in jail? Because uh, I don't like to be compared to my father either. I don't mind being compared to my father. Save it for the talk room. I'm sorry. I can Save assure you room. that my family is back on track and no longer in any trouble. Not according to today's paper. God, what have we done this time? Oh my gosh, she's in a brawl. Never mentioned 
Operation Klimpies to me again. Klimpies. What did you do? I still had money. I'd buy a Klimpies just to burn it to the ground. I know, Mommy. Mm. I hate Klimpies. Tell me what happened. Well, your sister and I tried to get into that new restaurant. Would? Hey, okay, sure. She's, uh, she's cute, I suppose. <laughs> you know, you're making me think about it. Uh, she's cute. She's a cutie. It's a little cutie pie. It's a little cutie but pie. But I never really noticed. What that I never really noticed. That's not an option. Because you're scared? No, because of George Michael. He still hasn't gotten over losing his mother. I just want to get him through high school. And I don't think you were worried about that in the first, like, you didn't get any wild other season or episodes when you are trying to get George Michael's uh, uh, Job's girl. And so Wait. the family gathered at the model home, eager to hear their new publicist's plan. Get jobs to behave. Instead of us getting jobs, well, why don't you do your job and tell everyone we've got jobs? You know what? Uh, I have a job. Kiss us. <laughs> well, we were all thinking it. Uh, I'm unclear about what it is exactly you do. Excellent question. What a publicist does oh, is... Oh, no, I was talking to George Michael. When did you get a job? At the banana stand. Oh, duh. Duh. I thought you meant like a plumber or something, and I was like, when did that happen? <laughs> Jesse, why don't you just go ahead and jump in here? It's a tough group to keep focused. Yeah, it's well, a tough group. I'm going to go on the offensive. <laughs> I want to get an article in the paper to show that this is a functional family and this is a relatable family. Yep. Hello! Hello from prison. Thanks uh, to Jesse for setting up this telelink. Hello from prison. We started prison. a uh, Torah study group. Very excited about it. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like some, uh, have some possible converts. Your father's religious now? We'll play that up. It's very sympathetic. Yeah. Who doesn't love the Jews? And it allows me to put Michael front and center. He needs to be the new face of this family. He's the only likable one in the bunch. No offense. No offense. No offense. I'm sorry, isn't Michael the least likable one in the family? No. There are very few intelligent, attractive, and straight men in this town. Well, that certainly leaves me out. <laughs> she said single. You did say single. No, is <laughs> that straight? I, 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 I hear that. The reception is bad, but as the Talmud tells us, the five, five, the two, a jacket, to the jackal, has to stop <laughs> Do you get a laugh? I'm sorry, I'm just still on the whole Michael being likable thing. You know that he's only had sex with like four women, right? Let's focus on your likability. You're going to start doing some charity work with your magic. Actually, I'm kind of the charitable one of the family. I think it's best okay. if you got a job. Oh, come on, I'm a parent. I care about my daughter every bit as much as Michael cares about his son. What grade am I in? What kind of job? Something really What kind of job? Like I know you're vodka, and they want someone to promote it by ordering it at a hot bar, a place like Wood. Okay, I'll do that. I'll and Tobias, you're a medical doctor, and you're living an absurd fantasy as an actor. It's time to get real. Wow. Tough talk. Tough. But I like it. You're saying land a major film. I'm saying get your medical license back. I've set up a hearing for tomorrow in Boston. Michael has generously donated $1,100 for your trip. I'm sorry. I truly believe that the universe wants me to be an actor, not a doctor. Actor. Just waiting for a sign. Here's your cash. Universal Shuttle picks you up at eight. Any sign. sign. Really? Sorry. Some of my students are arguing the shank bone on the uh, Seder plate. But that no, what? Do not wag our genitals at one another to make a point. Thought provoking. And Lucille, people think you're cold. Hanukkah can be spelled so many ways. Oh, yeah. Wow. Buster. They think you're cold. Is he just to get me out there? I want you to stay in. People find you odd and alienating. You make them uneasy. Stay out of the spotlight. I shall be neither seen nor heard. Watch me. You can always tell a Milford man. Well, now it makes sense why he's been doing this the whole time. Each with their new charge, the Bluths set about redefining their image. Tobias was off to Los Angeles International Airport, determined to return to his family with a career. Well, this is great. Why would anybody take a limo? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. A date. This, this is a date now? I thought this was just business. Can it be a little bit of both? How will I know which part of it is business? Uh-oh. Can't wait to see which part of it is a date.
Show me business again? <laughs> hey, what you doing? Just trying to get the TV working. Oh yeah, I tried that earlier. I think it's still hooked up to the prison. So when those guys kept saying, hey you boy, that was me? I was the boy? Sounds like Hey <laughs> you boy? So have you told your dad you don't want to go to that school? No, I'm thinking of just going. I mean, the graduates go on to do great things. I suppose, but that means we won't be going to the same high school. Damn, it just keeps getting worse. He's my dad. I don't want to disappoint him. Man, you and I are so different. It's like we're not even related. That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, Dad. I'm sorry that I'm so late, but I was with Jesse. This girl's making some serious progress in getting into that school. She just booked Joe a gig at Earl Milford's nursing home. You're gonna be a shoe in Oh. <laughs> She's kind of something, isn't she? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, hey, she is no replacement for your mom. Oh, no, no, no way. No. No. Yeah. No, she's just working for us. You're not dating right. her. No, I am not dating her. Absolutely not dating her. Yes. Just you and me. Blue boys. Blue boys. Oh, God. Good night, buddy. You know she's going to have those pictures everywhere. I think she's trying to position herself. Mm hmm. Hey. He's on his way. Hey, listen, 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 listen. This uh, might be moving a little bit too fast for him. I mean, for, for us. Me. Maybe we should take a step back and just keep this relationship professional. Oh, I think that would take all the fun out of it. No, 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 seriously, seriously. You're amazing. But I just think we should slow down. Uh-huh. So the two months on the bike, that was what? For my health? We had great conversations. Seriously, this is hard for me. This is hard for me, too. I've got a life to get on track, and I don't like wasting time. So let's do this. Let's take two steps back. And why don't you find yourself in new balances? Jesse. No, I was just, just saying your name as, as, uh, as you walked away. I, I didn't, uh, I have no follow-up. I have no follow-up. Just goodbye. Jesse. Michael felt bad, but he felt even worse when he got a call from his brother. Hello? It's Joe. I'm looking for Jesse. Well, she just left, Joe. What's wrong? I need her to spin something for me. The guy's actually what do you need her to spin? Murder. Murder. Oh. Never mind. Oh, he died. Just kidding. Michael was summoned to help his brother. Murder, huh? Who died? My career. I'm gonna go home now. I lost a guy. I put him in the asset tomb and he disappeared. Isn't that the point? This will ruin me. She's probably fine. He just escaped. No, I need Jesse. Well, she quit when I told her that I couldn't go out with her. You know, I have to do the right thing for my son. Well, then you better get her back. It's because the guy I lost was Earl Milford. What? Shut she kind of reminds me of my mother. And later that night, Lindsay was working at Rudd. You seem like a man of taste in class. I give you $2,000 to touch me. <laughs> Oh my god, my husband. Are you married to Carl Weathers? Shit! Who's he? His oh name my god, is who's he, babe? And he's my new acting teacher. And Lindsay, he's teaching me all these valuable life lessons. I buy all my cars at police auction. <laughs> he's full of stuff like that. And Lindsay, I buy all my cars he's teaching me to follow my dreams. Give me a bourbon. And Michael caught up. He just grifted. Baby, I had grifted. I was just was doing some thinking, and you know, I pulled away, and, and that was wrong. And I, I really want to make this work. Get away from my son. Hey, mom, I'm on a date here. You change your mind after this. And Michael saw the story that Jesse had planted. Let me tell you something, sweetie. We may pick on each other, get into little scrapes, call each other names, but and occasionally steal from each other. But that's because we are a family. You have no right. You don't get to do that. Lindsay's a combative, entitled princess. I should hire somebody to kick your ass for that. Save your money. Yeah, you're right. I'll do it myself. Hey, 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 hey,
Hey, you you're not settling things like that anymore, all right? I don't need my son reading any more articles about us in the paper. Oh, you and your son. Stop using him as an excuse for everything you do. I saw him today. He's fine with us. Wait, what? You saw him today? Yeah, I told him he was getting in the way of your happiness. You did? You said that to my son? Yeah. You're on your own, ladies. Go ahead. We already went to jail one. <laughs> Then we get kicked out of this restaurant right. already. <laughs> that this one. They weren't even allowed yeah, in. Where the car was. They take anything, man. Right? <laughs> the sales like. The prince is having a love affair with hating the Bluth family, and they were the center of another brawl this evening. Center of another brawl. Fifty thousand dollars worth of medical bills here. Well, oh my like God, maybe. <laughs> no, he's got medical bills. <laughs> well, are you disappointed? George Michael, I'm, I'm looking at how you feel, okay? I don't want you to worry so much about hurting my feelings. I didn't want to go to that school and Jesse's a psycho. And Jesse's a and psycho. Jesse's a psycho. <laughs> but Dad, you know, if you ever want to date anyone else, that's fine with me. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Because, you know, I mean, for women, that is kind of sad. All right. All right. Well, we got married in college, <laughs> but that was your sophomore year. You had your whole freshman year. Okay, that's enough honesty for now. That's enough right? honesty. Right. Don't get up there, well, buddy. Must have party. You must have not gone to this. So much to develop. Joe holds a press conference of his own. And now, prepare to call me hero. Oh, my God. Did he die? It's resting. And Buster moves to the kitchen. He's just gonna be hiding out there. All right, that was episode 11 of Arrested Development. And damn, Carl Withers coming through, grifting everybody on there, being a straight hustler. Um, that was funny. Um, the, the other brother, I can't remember his name, but yeah, he, he's not the sharpest knife in the tool. Who, Buster? Yeah, Buster, he is not the sharpest knife in the draw for sure. Um, but. I like Michael's part, trying to get back out there and date, but no, he. I think he is some at some point using his son as a crutch to not do anything and try to be like, I'm the straight man, I just want to do this for the family. But you, at some point, you got to get out. So I'm glad he had a talk with his son that he can make that happen. But again, the family came through at the end as a unit and came through for that B and put her in a place. Um, but I thought it was a good episode, man, and uh, I can't wait to see what's next. Uh, yeah, so the MVP of the episode, only barely though, and that, that's only because he got more screen time, honestly, is Carl Weathers, because I thought that was that whole ploy and his yeah. tactics was that hilarious. Was it was out of nowhere, and I appreciate the shit out of it. I just thought it was so spot mm -hmm. on, and like his commitment in every regard to it was really great. So, I, even having him at the very end be like, I have $50,000 worth of injuries, like, boy, you were sitting there drinking wine yeah. the entire time. So I thought that was fantastic, but he only like gets by with the win because it wasn't more of Lucille going in on her daughter. Because that little brawl in the restaurant with like uh, with all the food falls down and she throws that again another jab about the dessert. Mm -hmm. I was done. Like yeah, she, she be going is, in on her daughter. She be going in spitting hot fire. So like I can't. Like I, every time she speaks, I'm like, ooh, I can't wait for what she says. So yeah. I think right now. Lucille is definitely my favorite. Like I just, I'm so captivated yeah, I, I by her, and she, she's like Dr. Cox for me. Every time she's on screen, I'm like, ooh, what's she yeah. gonna say? What yeah. fire is she gonna drop now? So I had a good time with this episode. Uh, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah. All right. Well, look. Thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for Arrested Development season one, episode number ten. And until 11. next time, people. Eleven. Sorry. <laughs> until next time. Peace.